Hello YouTube, it's Draven Ice Jay here. Um, just sitting here at my altar during sunrise. The sun's beginning to rise. I stayed up all night because I cannot get to sleep. I am too hyper and it sucks. So I decided to make a video. I'm going to be making like a little type of video series things where I talk about the different altar tools and their uses and their correspondences and everything. So right now I'm doing it on the Athemates. This is mine. My boyfriend bought me this one. They like it? Okay. Hold up. Okay, this is my Athame. Athemates are usually traditionally double bladed, but really any type of knife would work. A wooden one, uh, even a plastic knife, a little tiny little table plastic knife will serve as an Athame. Or even a butter knife if you have if you have to use that. If you can't use an athame because of where you live or rules, you can always replace it with the wand. Or just use your finger. Okay, now the purpose of the athame in Wicca, witchcraft, and all this is it is used to direct energies. Um I'm gonna set it down, I'm tired of picking it up every ten seconds. It is used to direct energies, to cast a circle and to uh, ah, I'm losing my track of thought here like I said cast a circle and direct energy um fuck I can't remember what else was used for damn I am like out of thoughts here okay now the athme is also used to cut things in the ethereal planes or astral planes, not ever in the physical rounds. Like, um, if you're going to be exiting the circle real quick during ritual, what you do is you imagine the circle, like right here, open a door with the athame to open it back up and do the exact opposite to close it. And you can also use it to, uh, how, do, how do you do it? To draw the invoking or vanishing pentagram and stab the middle during blessing or uh, house blessing rituals and all that good stuff. This is my FMA. I'm so sorry. It's pretty. It's. Uh, I hate this. I have bipolar disorder and I am in my manic phase. I'm having mania, so I am so hyper right now. I can't even concentrate half the time. Okay, so like I was saying, back on track here. The elements of the athame varies with different covens and traditions. My coven and our tradition, we correlate this with fire, which is why I picked one with the dragon on it. And it also has a dragon fighting a phoenix on the side. Um, but some other traditions represent it with air. This is my opinion on this. I think I made a video on this already, but the athames are fire because of the fact that they are forged from fire. And the wands, well, I'm not going to talk about that because this is the athame video. And some people feel this is air, but I don't agree with that. Um, but for tarot cards, I do agree that this is air for the tarot only because of the fact that that was the way I was trained for tarot cards. And tarot and ritual are different. So, and divinationary meanings are different. So, yeah. Okay, and I also want everyone to send a video response to this video showing me everyone's athames because I want to see other people's athames. This is mine. My boyfriend bought me this, like I said. Sorry if I repeat myself. Like I said, I can't think properly right now. So, okay, until next time, Mary Parr and Blessed Be.